Hey guys, so now that we found our third arc, it's time to move on and go to North Wern. As for now, that is the only clue we have for next arc's whereabouts. As we arrive in North Wern, we start asking around the good city folks of North Wern if they have any clues or suggestions of where we could begin our search. But before we were able to do our research, all hell broke loose as demons and necromancers started attacking the city and destroying everything in their path. Rather quickly we find out who's behind it all and while trying to defeat him, this guy appears and he saves us and the demons run away for now. This guy and this demon Apparently, they have fought each other over a century ago and he thought that he killed the demon and he should be dead, however, that is not the case. So he sends us to the queen to request the help of the army. Upon arriving to her and speaking to the queen, she's not sure if we're lying or what, she doesn't really know what happened, if what we're telling is true, and she told us to speak to her advisors, but these people say that there is no way that the demon is still alive, that demon must be dead, is what they said, there is no way he is alive, and what we're telling them is just a bunch of lies. And so queen says she must trust her advisors and not send any army, but she said we should go to adventurers guild and seek help from those people. Upon arriving to adventurers guild and making this giga chat entrance to see the guild master on orders of her majesty the queen <laughs> that's so tin can man you think you can just waltz in here and make up a story about <laughs> Apparently, I can just walk <laughs> These people are also not sure if we're telling the truth, but they said if we earn high enough rank and prove ourselves, they will help. And so the journey of North Wern begins. So to begin with, we got sent off to do a few silly quests and immediately after that we got sent to inspect what is going on in this area where traders are being killed and raided. Also guys, just look how pretty this region is. Just beautiful, amazing. But yeah, anyways, moving on. Upon trying to figure out what's going on here, we met this guy, which apparently he served Tar over a century ago in their battle against demons. And then we met this frog little guy and he explained that the former soldiers and traders were transformed into demons and necromancers. He also sent me to his spirit. As soon as I talked to his spirit, the spirit explained a little bit more in detail. Before I continued the journey of Wern, I went quickly and did my ascendancy quest. I had to quickly visit the tomb again and play a song in there. And upon doing that, I received my awakened skill, which to be honest is pretty epic. A, it's strong and B, it completely recharges my bonking ability. So that is amazing. Also guys, why are you not telling me I can do this? Why am I only figuring this out now? Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, anyway guys, after that I continued doing the quest. We needed to kill some demons casting spells on these poor people and eventually we met this guy. He was one of the commanders on their Thar a century ago, however now he was turned into a demon and we had to fight him, which of course Thar didn't want to do that, but you know you have to do it, you have to set your friend free. Upon defeating him we set his spirit free and he told us that the Sigmund, the demon responsible for everything, is actually hiding in the mountains and that's where we should head. After talking to the guildmaster, he promoted us and now gave us the permission to go to Balankar Mountain. After talking to Thar, that is what we decided to do, so we went ahead to the mountains. Here in the mountains we see that the shamans are casting their spells and turning people into demons. So of course we had to stop them, we had to defeat them. Before we get to Sigmund, we defeat a whole bunch of shamans and statues and stop them turning people into demons. And also we light up this fire here and this fire helps pushing the demons away and helping the people become normal again. Upon doing that we went into this dungeon and here in this dungeon is where we're gonna face the Sigmund. As you can see he's killing everybody, he just doesn't care, he cares for nobody. And so we started our way towards him, but before that we encountered the dragon again. This dragon pushed us off into the wall and we ended up in the middle of the building. From there onwards we met the dragon again on the bridge. He attacked us once again. However, this time Thar started attacking him and he bravely pushed the demon into the depths and told us to continue on our own. So we did exactly that. We saved some more people. We turned ourselves into one of the shamans and we were able to quickly make our way through this dungeon. We also met this mini boss here, which I defeated pretty quickly. After defeating him, I went on this cart and I went to the top of the mountain. Here I found Sigmund and of course I tried to attack him but before that happened he ran away. He also tried to summon a dragon again but the dragon were still facing off with the tar and he summoned both of them. He was still trying to defeat the dragon however the dragon pushed him away and he wasn't able to do that anymore. So we took over his mission. 
After my ultimate ability and a few good hits to the dragon, we were able to defeat him. In the meantime, Sigmund was still charging this Chaos Core, and he also transformed himself into this Chaos Beast, and now we had to fight him. He wasn't insanely strong, but it took quite a few bonks and quite a few hits to defeat him. Upon defeating him, he was still laughing and saying that it was too late, and that his mission is complete, and that the North Fern is gonna be destroyed. We of course were worried of what's gonna happen next, but before anything else happened, we heard the sound and we turn our backs around and this guy appeared out of nothing this absolute unit a giant a guardian and this is what he had to say to me He did destroy the Chaos Core, and so no explosion happened, and right after that, this absolute Giga Chad just took off into the air and left. And so, now we have to make a case why humans should exist and why guardians should help us and not demons. Right immediately after that I reported everything to Queen. She of course was grateful. She also told me that there is no Ark in here, but she told me she's pretty sure I'm gonna find one in Sushire. So for now, that's the only clue we have where to head next. She also gave me an icebreaker, because Sushire is in the north and we're not gonna be able to get there with our own ship and we need an icebreaker. Also we got this cutscene of demons and this is what they had to say. And upon the end of this cutscene, that's when the story of Northwind ends. Now, before I get into my opinions of this arc, let me just take a quick moment to thank you all. Today when I woke up, I saw that I have exactly 1000 subscribers, which I know it isn't a massive deal and nothing's gonna change. You know, it's not like I reach a thousand subscribers and now my channel is just gonna infinitely grow or anything. It's all pretty much the same, but it is pretty cool milestone nevertheless. And I do appreciate you making this happen. Hopefully one day we can reach some more cool milestones. But for now, of course, that's one of the bigger ones I've reached and it took quite a lot of work to make that happen, but of course without your support, none of it would be possible, so thank you for that. And now let's talk about the arc. So, what are my thoughts on North Wern? Well, I have to say that the North Wern in itself was an amazingly beautiful area, I really liked the way the region looked, I really enjoyed the story, however I wish it was longer, it was rather short, and you can even probably see this by the video length, it's maybe a couple minutes shorter than usual, I suppose there's a whole bunch of new dungeons to try out, and maybe that's why the main story is a little bit shorter. And if you're wondering why I didn't include any of the dungeons here, it is because I'm gonna do a separate video on them. I tried pretty much every dungeon I could and I don't want to make this video 20 minutes long, so I would rather just make another separate video for that. And plus it doesn't really have much to do with the story right now, so I'd like to just make it as a separate thing. You will see another video shortly. The one thing about this arc was a little bit maybe disappointing for me is, like I said, the length. There were so many regions here, I thought it was gonna be quite a lengthy story, but it wasn't. It was an entertaining story, don't get me wrong, just a little bit short. It's a shame we didn't find an arc here, but no biggie, we'll find another one in Sushire, I'm pretty sure of it. I also really like how this guardian dragon appeared, I don't know what kind of future interactions I'm gonna have with him, but that guy seems like an absolute monster, hopefully I don't have to fight him, or you know, maybe I do, and that's gonna be quite fun then as well, hopefully of course he helps us defeat some demons we'll see. There were also other two regions full of side quests and I thought I'm just gonna do them later but the story never led to them. I just finished the story I was able to move on so I don't know if I even should do them. I think if I ever need to I'll go back but for now I just like to keep the story going and also the story express thing ends in like two weeks or so. I think it's even a little bit less than two weeks from now so if possible I'd like to finish as much as possible just to receive all the items I can get because after finishing this 
Stark I received my first items and they made me infinitely stronger. So I have a feeling the next arc won't even be a challenge, it's just gonna be more of a story time. But all of that is in the next video of course. As far as the dungeons goes, I tried a few going solo, I also tried a few with the party, but everything that I will show you in the next video about dungeons. But yeah, what can I say, it was really enjoyable story here, although short but really enjoyable. And now we're moving towards Tushire and I'll see you guys there. And like always guys, I appreciate you watching, thank you for making all the way to the end, if you could subscribe, like, comment, that would be amazing. And I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.